Avoiding the pitfalls, commonly misused words in English. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a very important topic. Commonly misused words in English. Misusing words can lead to confusion and miscommunication. But don't worry, once you know the common mistakes, you can easily avoid them. Misused words are words that are often confused with others because they sound similar, look similar, or have related meanings. This can make it easy to mix them up, especially if English isn't your first language. Here are a few examples. Accept versus accept. Accept means to agree or take something that is offered. Accept means excluding something. Effect versus effect. Affect is generally used as a verb and means to influence something. Effect is most often used as a noun meaning the result or impact of something. Complement versus compliment. Compliment means something that completes or goes well with something. Compliment means a nice thing you say about someone. Here are some more examples of commonly misused words in English. 1. Principle versus principle. Principle refers to a basic truth or law. Principle can refer to the most important person or thing, or the head of a school. 2. Stationary versus stationary. Stationary means not moving. Stationary refers to writing materials. 3. Allude versus allude. Allude is to suggest or indirectly call attention to something. Allude means to evade or escape from. 4. Bear versus bear. Bear means uncovered or naked. Bear could mean to carry, to tolerate, or it could refer to the animal. 5. Loose versus lose. Loose means not tightly fastened, attached, or held. Lose means to be deprived of or cease to have or retain. Remember, it's perfectly normal to confuse these words. Even native speakers do it. Here are some tips to avoid these common mistakes. 1. Understand the context. Pay attention to the sentence where the word is used. Often, the context will give you a hint about which word is the correct one. 2. Use a dictionary. If you're unsure, look it up. A dictionary will not only give you the meaning but often provides examples of how to use the word in a sentence. 3. Practice. The more you practice writing and speaking English, the better you'll get at avoiding these common mistakes. Well, that wraps up our discussion on commonly misused words in English. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. It's part of learning. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're opportunities to improve. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll master these tricky words. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video was helpful. Happy learning!